Welcome everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Contraband Police. We've gone through... Oh, comrade, I'm glad you're alive, you've been very lucky. Hold on, before we begin, yeah, we've uh, finally gone through the introduction and we're now on real days where we will get little help. You've been very lucky. Looks like you're ready to serve. On the orders of the commissioner, I will be monitoring your further actions as of today. Hey. Comrade, the kingdom of RK has committed a nasty betrayal. For the sake of the citizens, we must not allow their goods to cross the borders. We are counting on you. Following the revelation of links between citizens of the kingdom of RK and criminal groups, the government has imposed an embargo on all goods from the country. Drivers carrying goods and luggage from the kingdom of RK are prohibited from entering. The time is already running. <coughs> Breaking one of the smugglers' chop shops, we found contraband and a large amount of paint in one color. Gray. Our services overheard a telephone conversation. Uh, smuggler, Kingdom over K. And driver, age 36. Contraband. And... Okay. <clears throat> What's there? With this computer, you can upgrade your post, control uh, its daily cost of upkeep, and check your work statistics. Hire additional guards to improve the outpost's defenses, upgrade buildings to gain extra space, or increase your level of perception. Buy new police cars to chase criminals more efficiently. Interesting. Rank Lieutenant, current event, fake help. Prisoners, one out of three. Okay, so we can have three prisoners. Okay. KGP files. Oh, that's like collectibles. Missions, defeated enemies. Oh, we actually did defeat one enemy. <clears throat> Lodging, warehouse, okay. Azar visas, one. Lodging, this is where you can rest there. Upgrade lodging to increase your maximum health, which is especially important during a shootout. Oh, maximum health, okay. <clears throat> it's 600 to upgrade it, excuse me. A long-time employee of the criminal police department at Satakan uh, Police Headquarters. After a road accident involving an intoxicated politician, he refused to cover up the case, for which he was demoted and transferred to a border unit in the province. Oh, we can upgrade him as well. Oh, to a submachine gun. Cool. For many years, he successfully ran a car repair shop, but as a result of the amendment of the law of property and land, his plant was taken over by the state. After this incident, he took up various odd jobs, until he finally got a job as a mechanic for the police. So it can also be upgraded, but also increases his salary. I wonder why you would want to do that. Lucky winner of the 1975 state housing lottery. Unfortunately, low construction standards led to the building collapsing, as a result of which his entire family was killed. Holy moly, I feel bad for laughing now. Trying to put his life back together, he moved to Karikatka, where he found a job with the police. Bye. Constable. So he would be guarding the prisoners, right? Or maybe this guy? When he was six, his parents were arrested for insulting the state authorities. A report was submitted to the KGP uh, by their own neighbor in exchange for only 100 akars. He was further looked after by his uncle, a police sergeant. When he became an adult, he decided to follow his footsteps. We already have him. Constable Kowalski. When the government decided to build a nuclear power plant in Kiev, the Kowalski family, like many others, were forcibly displaced. As a result of a random assignment, he ended up in Karikatka, where he enrolled in a police station. Forcibly conscripted into the army in 1979, a year later, during the oppression of anti-government riots in Obrinsk, he was seriously wounded and released due to the inability to continue his service. After many weeks of convalescence, he joined the ranks of the police. You can also buy him. Okay. Azar VZZ1, constructed for the needs of the uniformed services after the police reform in 1971 and it became the standard equipment of every uh, unit, colloquially called potato by policemen. Upgrade, holy moly. It has a fresh paint, I guess, sort of. But it increases maximum speed and durability and capacity. Okay, and capacity doesn't, I mean, uh, maintenance doesn't increase that much. Ah, here we can uh, go to the next one. Warehouse 1. Here you can safely store your weapons, tools, goods, and intercept contraband. Items outside of the warehouse or player's inventory are automatically destroyed the next day. When your warehouse is full, consider upgrading it or selling some of your items. This is where all the criminals you apprehend go. 
At a convenient time, take them to the labor camp to get a reward. If the jail is full, you will not be able to arrest anyone else. To make sure the jail is as secure as possible, consider hiring an extra guard. Whoa, that's a big one. Okay. So, a uh, car, can we also? Yes, we can. Look at that. An improved version of the legendary Zavit T7. Adapted to the needs of the police in 1979. Used as a police pursuit and a reconnaissance car, it is characterized by high speed and low load capacity. 1200. Grazduk. The largest police car in the police fleet, originally intended to suppress street riots, modified uh, for the needs of border guards to transport prisoners and goods. Wow. Apparently we're going to get a lot of money. Okay. We gotta get, uh, get to work. There's nothing here, is there? No. No. Alright, let's get to work. I had already forgotten everything about this stuff. So, RK, Gray Vehicle 36. That's more like blue. Oh my god. Good day. Uh, RK, you cannot go in. Entry regulations. Okay, 7 Yegsev. Yegsev. Because the problem is, to get a perfect score, we need to find everything. Uh, 3rd of May. September. November. Oh, he's around 60. Oh, no, that was 36. Tourism. Okay, all of that seems okay. Um... How do I... Okay. I cannot believe he's got a... Oh, this thing is tiny. Let's see. He's got luggage. Oh, you can even open the luggage. That's cool. And nothing here. So. Detergent. And luggage. And detergent 2. Luggage 3. Where's the rest of the luggage? Where is it? Where do you put the rest of luggage? That is no good. Cargo list no good. Also photo. Let me look at your photo. Photo looks okay. Alright. Get out of here. Oh, we can also trade. Laundry detergent. Uh, vodka. Let's buy some of this, I guess. Okay, thank you. And now get out of here. Uh, wait, how do I... <laughs> get back to the vehicle. Oh, yeah. I have to return the cargo. Consider it done. Mm. All right, now we can go. Inspection is finished. Denied. No. What about the other doors? <laughs> Never mind that. Oh. That is... Wow. That's state. Justified. It wasn't perfect. God, what? Cargo list. Did I not select it? Ah. I really have to pay attention. Take it, but I need it back. Alright, Marcel Ormanov. Visit entry permit. Kingdom of RK. Again. So entry regulations. Let me just double check. Yeah, Kingdom of RK. Gray, 36. Alright, Marcel Ormanov, Ormotsov. So that's not good either. Expiration date. I should probably check the... Uh, use the things as well. Uh, April, 2nd of April. That's also not good. Passport number. That's okay. Photos, okay. Cargo list. No, does not have cargo list. That, that is flat. But that seems to be something we'll be checking in the future. Wow, that is missing. 
This car is a piece of shit. What are you doing? That that is also flat. Get out of here. I think I did it all, right? Name, surname, expiration date, entry regulation, passport number is okay, photo is okay, no cargo is provided. Denied. Barasto, Chipka. You're making a big mistake. Next. Oh, I wanted to <laughs> close it. There's black smoke coming out of that. That's not a great color either. But it's not necessary that they'll be... Oh, what? Passport number was not okay. Entry regulations... From Kingdom of Arcade was forbidden. But what? Why is that red? Entry regulations have said not to let people from there. I, I don't get it. Of course, so here you go. Let me just double check this. An embargo on all goods. I'm an idiot. Goods, not people. Ugh. All right, let's uh, let's try to up my game, shall we? Erel Muhadov, Erel Muhadov, you have 41, 41 T7, 9th of June, 16th of May, uh, 40, so he's around four years. Well, not really, 35, yeah, he might be a smuggler because it said 36, shipment of contraband. Not really a vehicle for contraband, I suppose. I don't see anything. Just be careful with the upholstery. I don't see anything here. I don't. I think this guy is fine. Alright, looks like everything else is good. You're okay. So, you're, you're okay. Approved. You have a nice day. Let me see how I screwed that one up. God, I... I'm just losing hope in myself. Confidence. Waning. That's a great vehicle. Okay. Perfect inspection. Oh my god, I actually did a perfect one. Papers, please. That looks like him. Lou Alexandrovich. Alexandrovich. Okay, uh, GWBP. Oh, you can just do this, for example. Uh, 12th of August, 6th of June. What do we do? Oh, oh, you can also do it like this if you're bad at maths, like I am. Luggage cereal sack. Okay. Just keep that on. There's no need to take it out. Where's the luggage? There it is. Relax, there's nothing to look for here. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Man, this is so fun. Okay, we've already done that. That's all good. So two luggage, three cereal sack. Good. Hmm? <laughs> but this guy is from Aris. Uh, Akarit Stanska, so he's good. Cereal sack 3, luggage 2. Everything else seems to be fine. Approve. Thank you, goodbye. Okay, so that is a great car. Uh, gray. Contraband. A, lar a large amount of paint in one color. Gray. Perfect inspection. Nice. Hello. What's the time? It's getting late already. That's the last car. 
Nordbeck is an ally of mismatch. I thought so. Name surname. Oh, it already does it for you. Or C, that's also wrong. Passport number. Expiration date, March, May. Tourism, 3rd of June. We can do this as well, 32. Uh, photo is fine. Cargo list. There's no cargo list here. That is a big car. That's a broken window there. Missing fender there. They're nicely modeled, these cars. I don't see anything here being smuggled. I wonder what happens if you just start bashing on the car. I mean, I suppose we should try. Destroyed bodywork. Yep, you pay for it. Okay, so you can't just go around doing that. Uh, I did all of that, right? Photo. Okay. Denied. Why? Okay, now we can get the people into the police car. Huh. That's probably all for today. This is a good time to replenish your supplies. Free a place in jail or rest. Uh, so expiration date was not okay. Huh. Oops. Okay, let's put it like that for now. Or maybe keep that with us. We we'll need the crowbar here. Don't need another knife. There. Have to hurry. We've got a ways to go. I really have to be a lot more careful with everything. There. At least we can get a little bit of extra money. Uh, so let's go to the police station first, I guess. Don't you dare. Ah, oh, as you travel across the world of Akaristan, watch out for enemy Oberankov gang troops. Holy moly. They will try to recapture their comrades or reclaim their stolen goods. When you encounter them, you can run away or find them to get an additional reward. Wow. Okay. That's scary. And I'm assuming if they shoot you unconscious... Is it... The window is broken. Um, you, you have to pay quite a big fine for the hospital or something. I only have a pistol. I understand now what... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 freaking hell. That guy had a freaking shotgun. Well, let's try. Where are they? Oh, shit. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I don't think this is a good idea. Sorry, citizen, have to use you. Car cost to repair. That's not good. I don't think this is gonna be worth it. I think my car is gonna take a lot to repair. Yeah, car is not happy. Seventy only. 
I don't think that was worth it. Pull? Search body. Oh. But they give you stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth it, to be honest. You do get the ammunition and such, but I don't know. Uh, where's the rest of them? Was that it? That wasn't a lot of them. Is this guy... He's still alive. What are you doing? I'm an important mission. Yeah. Car is not happy at all. Okay, so we got 70 from that. And some ammunition. We'll see what happens when I have to repair the car. I don't think that was worth it. But I think a better choice would be to fly past them at high speed and then um, and then shoot them from afar so they don't, they don't shoot up the car. Hello, my car uh, have problem. A little bit problem. Hello. Hmm? Oh, nice. Come on. At least we don't have to pay for fuel. Uh, so it would be best to... I guess just turn right. And, can I... No, I cannot place down anything. Yeah, we'll just go around. We'll uh, turn right and then go all the way around. I wonder if there's a time limit to when you can sleep. Or maybe you can actually stay up the entire night until the next day and, and work. Without actually sleeping, it's possible. Have to fix car. Maybe we should go back to uh, back to the post and fix car there first. But I don't know if that takes time or not. This police then very unhappy. I cannot believe that this game does all this contraband stuff and pa papers and stuff and it's, there's also shooting and I have to say the shooting mechanics are not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, you know, it's, it's not going to be the same as something that's custom built. Uh, a game that's custom built with lots of shooting in mind where, where there's the focus. But that's that's not to bash this game at all. The, the shooting mechanics actually feel pretty good. The sound effects feel very nice, or sound very nice. I'm very impressed. Let me see if I can quickly repair the car. Oh, that's just going to respawn in there. Guy's still in there, so how do I repair it? 50. So we basically got 20 bucks from that plus uh plus the ammunition. So but we did use the ammunition to shoot as well. So I don't know. That was really worth it. Like I said, maybe it would have been worth it if I were to drive away and uh, not let them shoot up the car. I cannot use it as a uh oh well. I cannot use it to hide behind. Uh oh. Again. Oh, freaking hell. I just repaired the damn car. <laughs> damn. I wonder if they're shown on the map. And I wonder if they will despawn or actually follow me. Oh, no, that's not the place. Uh, yeah, they do sh show up on the map. Old ruins. Wow, this labor camp is actually quite far away. So even at full speed, we still took a fair bit of damage to the car. I mean, the, the engine is fine, but darn. And there seems to be a lot of enemies around. Oof. I was afraid the labor camp wouldn't open because it was too late or something. 
Excellent. Well, the damage doesn't seem to be great, I guess. Hundreds. Nice. A bit of a tight turn. Yeah, there you go. Alright, back we go and probably take a couple more shots there. I wonder if I should attack them or not. And I wonder if they're still running across the map towards us. The skull doesn't seem to be moving, but we'll see. Okay. So now I gotta be careful. Okay. Lots of trees here, that's good. How much ammunition do we still have? Oh, a fair bit, actually. Where are they? I guess you can just run back and then respawn the car. Oh, they'll be gone one day. No. Nope. No. Nope. Daily cost. Uh oh. They are quite accurate. Okay. Let's get back to the car. And hopefully we can sleep long enough. I cannot believe there's so much to do in this game. Moving the uh, prisoners and such all the time might get a little bit annoying. We'll see. I also need to search those bodies for ammo. Alright, let's go. There should be one here. What? What? Where's the bodies? Oh no, I can't loot them because I went away to get the car? Ah, oh, darn. Okay. Oh well. Well, another thing I learned. I also wasn't paying attention to how much we got from that. We're shooting them. Now I see why I'll need to buy uh, more ammunition and such. You use quite a bit when you drive around like this. Can I just leave the car here instead of parking it? How much to repair it? Oh, no vehicle in the driveway. And I can respawn it like this. 50. Okay, so it seems to cause the same. I really don't want to do that for now. Alright. Off we go to bed. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this. A huge thank you to my Patreons. And I will see you all next time. Let's just see the results. If we're gonna get them. I guess not. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.